I'm a leader of my Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a marvelous day. And if you're seeing the show for the very first time and you like the show, go ahead and subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so when an episode comes out, you will be the first to know. Well, <laughs> I have been looking at what all the derangers and the haters have been saying about Megan out there and Harry on their Jamaica trip um, where they went to see um, the premiere of the Bob Marley um, story, One Love. And <laughs> these people are so hard at work. And every time they come up with a lie, you you can dispute it. I don't know why they enjoy making themselves look bad like that. I don't know why they enjoy putting their foot in their mouth. And the truth always comes out. So Harry and Meghan, you know, went to, you know, see the Bob Marley um, One Love um, movie, the premiere of it, and they were in this theater and they were claiming that Harry and Meghan were unhappy to be sitting where they were in the road that they were seeing and that they should have gotten VIP treatment. Now, one thing I want people to know is that the Caribbean you know, the islands in them are very small. They don't have a huge budget. They don't have those met um, uh, theaters and met this and, you know, those types of huge stuff with balcony here and balcony there. There may be, I don't know, in Jamaica, one or two of those types of situation where they have those big theaters and they have a balcony here and a balcony there and this and that. The Caribbean islands are considered to be third world countries, okay? So they don't have the things that the United States have. But what we have, we're proud of it. We make do with it. And it is functional. So Harry and them were in the theater, you know. And they were claiming that Harry and them were removed from the VIP. That is not true. I saw a wonderful little clip online. And the exact area that Harry and Meghan were sitting, Ziggy Mali, which is Bob Marley's son and one of the producers of the movie, he was actually standing in front of the theater, not very far from Harry and Meghan. He was actually standing. He wasn't even sitting. If they were in the front standing watching the, 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 the movie. And you can sit here on this clip, plain as day. They were all in the same room. I even saw the CEO and president of Paramount Film, the, um, the, 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 the company that brought, the mo the, brought us the movie, I saw him standing with Ziggy Mali in the same room, okay? So for people to make up such a blatant lie and such a big story about Harry and Meghan sitting like in removed seats, you know, showing that they've been downgraded since they left the royal family, and all of that nonsense and nothing more than wishful thinking and made-up lies. Thank God for cell phones and social media because they cannot continue to get away with the lies that they're telling because somebody somewhere has a video to put it in their face and tell them that they are lying. And that is exactly what I saw. I remember Megan them were sitting. They nicely took their seats. And right below, somebody uh, did a video showing Ziggy Mali. Bob Marley's son, and the president of Paramount, they were in the corner on the left-hand side, standing up, as you can see here, watching uh, the movie, while Harry and Meghan were a little higher up, and they were sitting watching the movie. They had absolutely no problem with where they were. 
and it wasn't downgraded it is just what the cinema is it's not like those um you know those theaters that have balcony here balcony there and all kinds of stuff it is not like that it things are very simpler in the caribbean okay you only have a couple, I think Jamaica has about 3 million people. You have a couple of people in the country. You cannot have those big things like that. Who are you putting in them? You cannot fill them up, right? So things are very simple. People have simple lives and what have you. So I don't know what they expected. And now another thing again that they have been claiming is that Harry and Meghan uh, disruptors they're disrupting um, the um, British monarchy and you know by taking photos with um, Andrew Holness the Prime Minister of um, Jamaica and they were comparing the time that when William and Kate were in Jamaica the fr the frosty reception that they received and how Holness is an anti-monarchist wanting to remove Jamaica um, from being a sovereign state and an independent state. Now, <laughs> it is so ridiculous. Let me tell people who have no knowledge about what is happening in the Caribbean. A lot of islands in the Caribbean right now, they are aligning with the East. So no matter who, whether Harry or Meghan were there or not there, Wholeness already have his mind and I set on separating from, you know, the monarchy, the monarchy being the head of state, because we've all known that the monarchy and Great Britain, who is a colonizer, has taken away from these islands. They've used them up. And they've not given back anything. My goodness, they cannot even give their own people anything, much as for these people in the Caribbean. So uh, what the East is doing now is replacing what Great Britain was in the Caribbean. They're literally giving these leaders money. You go to certain places and their names that are written on certain buildings and they have Chinese on them okay so the Chinese are there already they're pouring in money into those islands they're friends with those leaders so Harry and Meghan have absolutely nothing to do with what wholeness and what other nations in the Caribbean plan to do with the relationship with Great Britain and the monarchy people in the Caribbean politicians in the, in the Caribbean they are looking elsewhere they're looking for where people are giving them money and the East people in the East I'm not gonna say those names I don't want to get too political here uh, they are giving them a lot of money I went to my own island and I'm looking at my hospital in my island and there's an Asian name written on it and an English name so these people they already made up their mind as to what they're going to do, who they're aligning with. And Harry Meghan has absolutely no influence at all on what these people are doing in the Caribbean. Do not allow anybody to fool you. These people's minds are already made up. They've already aligned to a different um, nation. So they, they have Harry Meghan... Could be anywhere they could take any picture with anybody that's another thing again they are independent of the monarchy they're making their own money that has n nothing to do with um you know charles and what have you and harry and Meghan should be allowed to live the life uh live the lives they want to live um void of whatever decision or relationship or non-relationship that Charles have um, has with any country. They should be able to be themselves. They should be able to go wherever they want to go to and have their own autonomy than worrying about what Great Britain is going to think or what Charles or the monarchy or whatever is going to think. Okay? Please. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. My house is so 
cold. I just had my boiler fixed. And I'm telling you, I think it's that's what that weakened my immune system. Did it that made me got even sick from my son in the flu. You know, it just feels so chilly in my room. Yes, it feels so chilly. Oh, God, I spent like about almost $600 for people to come in. And then I had somebody come in and fix something. It was like a fuse that had, you know, died off in the, uh, worn away in the, in the boiler system. But I'm still cold. I feel like it's not sending enough heat. Okay, that's why I have this sweater on me. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so as I was saying, all of what people are talking is nothing more than lies. Um, and also, too, you know, talk speaking about, you know, over there in England, the, the monarchy um, turned out that Charles is um, out of the hospital and um, seems like his uh, procedure went well. And um, those are routine things, you know, enlarged prostate and having it, you know, uh, worked on so that you could have urine flow and stuff like that is something, you know, men those ages, you know, at that age go through a lot. So this is a common thing and it is a routine thing. So I'm not surprised that he went in, did what he had to do was observed you know as with any procedures one to two days like that and i'm sure they did something you know it wasn't something invasive it was probably laparoscopic meaning that they probably had their little camera going there and they did their operation with their little camera and what have you tiny incision in and out you know the big thing is kate who's you know was in hospital for at least two weeks after her abdominal surgery don't know what the surgery is i think by not telling the public they've created a lot of speculation so today she's out of the hospital and um, she's at home resting you know um when people are sick you don't want to kick them down so hopefully that she can be there for her children that's what i'm saying and to raise her children because no child should be allowed to grow up without their mom and i don't want to wish anything bad on anybody who's a mom and you know who have children um to take care of that's where i am okay so i'm not gonna spend too much time on what their situation is that's their business let them handle their business it's just that i hope that you know they stop feeding stories to the press and to you know people for them to be able to brighten these negative stories about Megan and Harry and their family um, also too we saw that um, um, I saw an article in Vogue and they were talking about Megan and her you know and her style and what have you and you know it's just across the board everybody was saying how gorgeous Megan looked you know, at um, the Bob Marley uh, movie premiere, One Love, just absolutely breathtaking. And, um, you know, with her trademark hair style, you know, she had it in a bun and a beautiful airing. Everybody wants those and, you know, a spaghetti strip, very simple and stuff like that. And then she had, it seems like a Carla, Carolina Herrera skirt, you know, and possibly um, you know, I think maybe that was like a little onesie thingy, you know, with the spaghetti strap and stuff like that. But I want to start covering Megan's fashion a little bit more. I love style and fashion. I can't afford the line that they have, but I, we can look into stuff, right? That, um, you know, sort of look like it and, you know, like a knockoff of it. And um, that we can get and to be a little bit more in line with our duchess for sure but anyways um that's all for now take care until the next episode okay uh, don't forget also to like this video it helps out the channel um the sussex channels are going through a lot and i know you know i was trying to figure out what happened to my channel why um i lost a lot of um views on my channel i think it was the time when i was talking about dan wooden and you know in reporting on dan wooden and all of that stuff and youtube 
sort of sometimes can be weird they didn't like certain words and it was you know a lot of things came out of that and I probably was a little bit more at that time you know unaware of those types of things that YouTube doesn't like so I was sort of explicit I was telling it like you know and stuff like that like what it is and I was just saying the words and saying exactly what was said and turned out boom my videos stopped going out, you know, like that. I lost the algorithm and what have you. But I ain't waiting for no algorithm to do my videos. I'm going to do my videos anyways. And I know you guys have seen it. And um, spread the word to let people know I'm not gone because people are saying to me, Oh, where have you been? And stuff like that. No, I have been here. I've been doing my videos. Also, you can look, look, up on, um, look my channel up and then see... What was my latest video? Anyways, that's all for now. Love you guys and thank you for everything and thanks for the support. Hit the like button on your way out. Don't forget. <laughs>